First of all, the, the head of the three countries must meet as soon as possible. Uh, this, is the mandate, this is very important, but somehow the Japan has been rather reluctant to meet with South Korean leader for that reason that uh, the three countries have not been able to schedule the summit meeting to be, which was supposed to be held sometime uh, this year. But then we are hoping that China, China could intervene in this process and persuade China, Japan why it is necessary, important for three country leaders meet and resolve some of these uh, the trade and other economic uh, issues. This is one. The second, the, the South Korea and the China have had a continuing uh, disagreement and conflict of interest concerning regional security, including North Korean issues. Nevertheless, despite disagree continuing disagreement, the two countries have been able to sustain rather the harmonious uh, trade relations. And for this, I thank uh, Chinese policymakers for their, their contribution. In fact, we have the free trade relations with China, and this free trade relation has supported and has helped, welfare increase, helped increasing welfare of the two, two countries. So on the basis of this experience, I would like to recommend uh, China and Japan to, to maintain, to follow or to consider two track policies. One track deals with security issues, another track economic issues, so that economic issues should not be too much influenced by the, the political issues. It's not going to be easy to separate the political issues from economic uh, issues. Nevertheless, the past experiences suggest that three countries have seen the interest of sustaining very harmonious trade relations so that they will be able to work out some kind of modality in which they could maintain two track policies, one for regional security, another one for regional economic integration and prosperity.